Hey guys, it's Meg. I am here this week with a new video for you. Um, this is going to be our standard tarot reading for the week, so um, I'm excited to get started with you on that. Um, yeah, we're going to do this. Okay, sorry I got to this a little bit late, so I'm a little bit discombobulated, but I'm okay. We're here. Um, just a few housekeeping things for you. Um, I have three commission slots open for tarot readings, so if you're interested in booking a reading with me, um, there'll be a link to my website in the description below. Um, I'll be really excited to help you in any way I can. Um, again, if you're interested, um, just that's up to you, so go ahead and check everything out. And on that note, all of my social media links are in the description below. So if you want to get in touch with me outside of the tarot reading and outside of YouTube, you can do so. Um, but also, um, if you like what you see in the video, please go ahead and consider hitting the like, subscribe, and the bell buttons uh, so you can stay in the loop for when I post new work. Um, I also do vlog style videos, so um, it's not my channel isn't strictly tarot reading, um, but again, you have options if you wanna if you wanna dig around my channel a little bit. So uh, for the reading, we are going to be using the movie Tarot by Diana McMahon Collis, and um, it's illustrated by Natalie Foss. So no, nope, you can't see that; it's glaring. In any case, um, there it is. Um, this will be linked in the description below as well. So, um, we, I like to do this as I'll shuffle first. Um, I like shuffling on camera so you know that I haven't done anything to the deck. Um, and then we're going to pull cards from the middle and the bottom and the top. So, um, we'll see what comes up and, um, you know, if this resonates with you, if this resonates with you, I'm, I'm really happy to help you in this way, as I said before. So, uh, one more. Okay. So the first card I'm going to pull is the Ten of Wands. So we're starting off with kind of a heavy load on our shoulders. We're not feeling too great. It's not... Um, Something's not doing too well right now. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you're maybe you're still at work, and I'm very happy to hear that if you are, um, because a lot of us aren't, um, even if it is remote, whatever. The point is that um, there's a feeling of burden and overload, and there's, um, there's a lot of stress in what's going on around this. So what I'm thinking is, aside from this reading being uh, being tailored to friendship and, and peace and gratitude that you're here with me, um, I want to get some clarification in how we can help you get through this Ten of Wands energy. So let's see what the next card has to say. Our next card is going to be the Eight of Swords. So there's a lot of information coming coming on to us. There's a lot of things happening all at once. Um, you know, maybe that's why we're feeling a little bit stressed right now because we have a lot on our plates. Um, maybe you're remote working and you have kids that you're homeschooling or you're just trying to figure out how to, how to keep your house running smoothly and, and there's just a lot on our plate right now and a lot of it's happening really quickly. Um, the message I always give with the Eight of Wands is that you want to stay on your toes. Um, it's yeah, stay on your toes. I'm, I'm sorry about um, I'm sorry about it feeling stressful right now, but um, again, let's see how we can help. Maybe that may, how, how we can help balance things again. Because um, it's feeling, I'm feeling that there's a sense of, of unbalance with the situation, which is why we got the Ten of, 
Ten of Wands, and now the Eight of Swords. Okay, so how can we help rebalance our situation? There's two. Nine of Wands. Stand tall. Persevere. We, we can do this. There's a storm raging outside of us, but we can handle it. Um, there might be a sense of exhaustion and fatigue, um, but even in spite of that, um, we're still strong enough to stand against it, and it's going to, um, it's not going to be easy, but I think we can, we can persevere. So that is the Nine of Wands. We also have... We also have the Seven of Wands. I promise you I shuffled this. Um, but here we're, here we're having to defend ourselves a little bit. And it this, yeah, here's our stressful situation. Because we're in a place of, um, we're in a place of, of high regard. And we deserve to be there because we have worked very hard. We've done We've taken all of the steps we need to take. We are in, we're in a good place. But there are people, perhaps close to us, perhaps not. There are people in our sphere who might see all of the work we're doing and feel like they have to, um, feel like they have to tear us down a little bit. Now, let's check our personal motivations because perhaps... Um, perhaps this other person over here has a right to be like, hey, you know, check yourself. Um, but if that's, you know, if, if you're not being negative yourself, there's, I, I feel like there's not really a reason to have to check yourself, if that makes sense. The point of, the point of this is that you're, you're having to defend yourself in a situation that perhaps you didn't think you would be in. Um, so yeah, here here's a stressful situation. The Seven of Wands um, to me is kind of the kind of the lone warrior card and it it's it's it can be a lonely place. Um, but again if you're you're feeling yeah, it can be a lonely place because you're defending yourself and it's it's not, um, the situation isn't comfortable. Hmm. Okay, Seven of Wands. Okay, let's, let's see again, how do we ease the stress here? Because I'm not getting, I'm getting why we're being stressed, but I'm not getting how to help. So let's see how we can help each other through this seven of wands, through this whole stressful situation, really. Okay, so we have the emperor. So here's our authority. Um, remember that. Remember your own authority because you have the ability to be very measured, very, I'm not gonna say relaxed, but you know, you know you best, right? Um, you know, we're talking about um, we're talking about a lot of things happening at once. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of burdens. Um, you know you best, and you know how to create order out of the chaos. You know how to. Um, you're going to be okay because the authority over your life rests with you anyway. It's not, you know, it's not this other person in the Seven of Wands situation. It's not, you know, you have what it takes to stand against the storm because here you are here, right? You, you know how to process these stress situations. And it's not easy, you know, I acknowledge I've been in, I've been in this situation recently but the point is I've been in that situation before and you have what it takes to create stability and create order and, and exercise your authority. Now, like I said, with the seven of wands, try not to be heavy handed. 
um, try to understand the audience you're you're, uh, you're maybe presenting to, or you know the people you're dealing with and your your situation. Um, again, a heavy hand isn't going to help mitigate whatever the Seven of Wands situation is. It's probably only going to make it feel worse. Um, so, again, the authority is on you, um, but be, be wise about how you exercise it. That is the Emperor. I'm going to shuffle again. We've got five. Um, yeah, let's do, let's do some more. Um, because again, we've landed on authority after um, we revealed a stressful situation. So let's see how else I can help with this. Okay, so next card, you have the Nine of Swords. So again, here's some anxiety. Here's some stress. Here's um, here here are the things that keep us up at night, and I, you know, especially in this particular rendition, this card is so creepy to me because look at that. There's an there's an eye behind all of that, and they're not seeing through all of the the swords. They're being held back by it. Um. Ouch. I mean, if you're if you're an anxious person, I'll, I'll raise my hand to this. Um, I, you know, it's not comfortable. It's not easy. And it certainly doesn't feel um, it certainly doesn't feel right to be in that situation. And, you know, again, I'm going to raise my hand to this. I tend to get completely debilitated by it which is not good, I will admit to that. Um, but the, the fact of the matter is that there's something holding on to you in terms of your thoughts, in terms of your perspective, and perhaps um, this is where having the emperor energy comes in because you, you have a version of your life that you want to live, and you can't be living it if you're held back by your anxiety, right? It's okay. Now, let me, from another anxious, per from one anxious person to another, if you're watching this and you experience this, I understand because I just said I get debilitated by my own anxiety sometimes. If that's the case, I hear you. Um, you know, it's, it can be overcome because thankfully I'm okay now, um, but it will, um, this doesn't necessarily serve you if it's, you know, if it's, if you're not downloading, if you're not getting any new insights on your own life, no, this, this can't be, this can't be the factor that holds you back. So again, Let's help ourselves through this Nine of Swords energy. So what can we do about the Nine of Swords, the Nine of Coins? So we want something to really work um, because we, we have, we've worked hard to get to this point. This is about satisfaction and um, seeing payoff in our work. Um, this is what we want. This is, um, maybe this is the call to action to take a little bit of a breather because we've been working so hard and been hitting the books pretty hard if you're a student. Um, we've been really genuinely trying to get ourselves in a place where we can relax. This is our call to action. We've been experiencing a lot of this. We've had a lot of stress in our, you know, in our past and now in our present. Um, but we genuinely need to relax and we need to take some time. So because we, this is what we want. Again, this is satisfaction and um, rest and release. 
uh, the the other thing I'm getting with this is that um, we're working towards abundance and again stability. So I think there's um, there's some anxiety and stress and you know maybe some sleepless nights around creating this for ourselves. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we look at the sequence of cards, ten obviously comes right after. The Ten of Coins is abundance, it's stability. Everything I've just mentioned in this card and what we're working for is going to come to us, right? Um, we just need to hold on a little bit longer, keep, keep, yeah, keep to our diligence, and we will see that Ten of Coins. But right now we're at nine, so just hold on to that, hold on. We got this. So that is the nine of coins. All right, nine of coins, eight of cups. All right, so the only way we're going to get to that ten of coins energy is if we move on. Um, because there's a situation that we're hitting a bit hard that hasn't worked. It hasn't worked. It's time to leave. It's time to move on. Um, because maybe we don't have another option. Um, yeah, we don't have another option. It, it's over. And, and the other thing, I'm making his card sound negative. And to some, you know, to some sad factor, it kind of is because, you know, you've lost, you lost the situation you thought was going to work. But here's the thing positivity and light and love and everything that you hope for for your life comes from letting go of a situation that isn't serving you. So again, you know, we talked about all the stress and anxiety. It, no, no, I don't think it's serving us very well. Excuse me. Oh, I think I have to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, it's not it whatever our previous cards whatever that situation is is showing us in our previous cards um time time to go time to go because better brighter horizons await you when you do so that is the eight of cups all right we have eight cards out of the deck let's one more shuffle and see what is hidden on our bottom and top. So, all right, here we go. The hidden energy card on the bottom is the star. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. I love it. So here's our, here's our light. Here's our hope. Here's, um, Here's that signal at the end of the tunnel is coming. Um, there's, it, you know, whatever it is we're working for might seem a little bit distant right now. But, you know, but we're, we're compelled to follow that. Let's think about how sailors used to navigate. You know, they used the stars. Here's our compass. Here's our light. Here's the way to go. Um, and even better than that, um, you know, we talked about um, having the emperor energy. Here's part of here's part of that emperor energy, that authority that I talked about. Because you know, guys, biologically, we are made of star stuff. We're made of the same thing stars are, and it's it's really I think that is so cool that all of us are. You know, we might be different people. We might live in different places. We might do different career paths. Doesn't matter because we all have the same stuff that stars are made of, that the universe is made of, and that is our connection. Um, at least one of our connections. Um, but more importantly, we have our light and our path to follow. And I think... Um, Here's our hope. Here's our hope. Things will lighten up soon. I feel very confident in saying that. So 
that was the hidden energy. Let's see what is on the top of our deck. And we have the chariot. Okay, all right. So we have the determination to make this move. Whatever this situation, whatever these cards, whatever this stack of cards was showing us, we have the determination in spite of the stress, in spite of the, the anxiety, in spite of, um, in spite of everything that we've lost, everything that we've stood to gain is going to come to us. We have the nine of coins in here. We have the emperor. We have the star. Now we have the chariot. And yes, because just we know what we have to do and we have the will and the power to make it happen mm -hmm. yes we do <laughs> yes we do um i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that reading here um thank you for tuning in if this resonated with you go ahead and let me know by clicking the like and subscribe and the bell buttons um Again, you know where everything is if you want to get in touch with me. So I will see you in the next video, guys. I love you lots. Bye, everybody.